Welcome to Retro Unboxing and today we have for you the Nintendo Entertainment System Action Set. Now I don't like to uh, fling the word classic around too much on the channel but this right here is an icon of home gaming consoles. This is an absolute legend of a machine. I uh, had one myself when I was a kid. I think it came out first under the Famicom brand in Japan in about 1983, hit America in 85, and then down here in Australia in 1987. I didn't personally get mine till 1989, but I got a lot of hours of fun out of this as a kid. So inside the box, you've got the console itself, you've got your two game controllers, you got your game cartridge, first time Super Mario Brothers appeared on a console, that was his big debut, and that came along with Duck Hunt, which was, to me as a kid, an absolute leaping gaming technology, having the zapper gun, which also comes in here, and being able to shoot at the TV with the infrared. Absolutely awesome. And on the back here you've got your happy family. They've got their 34 centimetre TV, so they're all crowded around. You see the kids are loving it, mum and dad are loving it. On the back here it says, The Nintendo Entertainment System Action Set is the most advanced video game system ever developed. Equipped with control deck, two controllers, zapper light gun, and Duck Hunt Super Mario Brothers, double game pack for unending entertainment for the entire family. So we'll get the box open, just like we were a 1980s kid on Christmas Day. And look at that, wow. The original NES, I think they sold about 61 million units worldwide, and here in Australia they continued to sell it till about 1995. I believe in Japan they continued selling it till as late as 2003. Got your uh, control deck user's manual. Tells you how to operate the system. You've also got your zapper gun user's guide for when you're ready to shoot ducks off your telly. And I remember this. This is the uh, little pamphlet of games that came with the NES. I remember scanning over this, imagining what games I'd be buying in the future. Wow. You'll see some classics on there. The Legend of Zelda. So there was uh, Link's first appearance on a console and the adventure of Link. Of course you got your Super Mario Brothers. On a trip down memory lane. Also got your cartridge in here. They were quite big and clunky, the old NES cartridges, but they did the job. Anyone that owned one might remember blowing the dust out of there to make sure that it worked each time. If they got too much dust in there, they wouldn't load. Also got your instructions in there for Duck Hunt and Mario Brothers. A quick flick through that. Okay, what else do we have in here? Got your power pack to plug into the console. Got your, I believe it was called a RF switch. That's right, and you, uh, you plugged this piece into the TV aerial of the back of your TV, and then your TV aerial into there, so you could still have television as well as a game system. And I remember plugging this in and then twisting the wheel dial on our 80s television to. Uh, to tune the game in so we could play. And here we have the classic game controllers. Before these things, you know, most gaming was at the arcade, or for me anyway, and it was mostly joystick and buttons, but this was a whole new thing. Had your A and B button, your start, your select, and of course your directional cursor. Very cool. They weren't that comfortable, but really, they were the beginning of how we play games at home today. And we have the zapper gun. I remember as a young kid, this was the height of technology for me. 
shooting ducks off of a TV screen using infrared. It was like magic. And last but not least, we have the legend himself, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Power and reset button on the front left. Plugged your controllers in those ports. If you were lucky enough to have a high-tech TV that took AV inputs, they were on the side there. Didn't come with the AV cords though, you would have had to purchase them separately. There's the plug for the RF switch for your adapter, and you know, there's a channel switch there. And there we go. On the bottom there, 1985 Nintendo. Made in Japan. Thank you, Japan. And there's the little open and closing lid where the games went in. I'll grab one of the cartridges and you just slid that in there and then you pressed it down and close the lid. I'll hook this up for you in a moment. We'll have a go. Didn't take out any ducks there, but that was the legendary NES Nintendo Entertainment System. If you enjoyed the video, if you like retro tech, retro toys, retro mobile phones, hit that subscribe button because we'll be bringing you a lot more unboxing videos in the future, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. Thanks for tuning in.